Hey everyone, this video is here to provide a quick demo just to show how easy it is to migrate from your existing semantic endpoint security solution to Trend Micro's Apex One. The first step is you just want to download our Coexist agent. So the Coexist agent has several of our modules enabled, but it doesn't interfere with other products. So you can have it coexist on the machine while you're in the process of replacing. So once you get that download link, it takes you to an MSI of our coexist agent. So for this particular example, we're just gonna do it on the endpoint. However, you can automate this however you see fit through SCCM or PDQ, GPO, just running MSI execs, you know. How, however you decide to propagate the agent throughout your environment before you switch over. So in running the agent um, on a local machine, you'll just have a couple of quick prompts and it'll just, uh, take you down through the install. It's uh, really very easy and just a couple of clicks of next and off it goes. <laughs> if you use the automation techniques described before, then you could simplify this process even more. So once it comes up, you'll be able to see our agent icon pop up next to Symantec and notice there's no impact right now for anything. Um, you don't have to restart. You don't have to change anything. And the green icon shows you that our agent is in coexist mode, and this will protect the endpoint while you go through that transition of removing Symantec. So the next step you would go through at this point is removing Symantec from the targeted machine. So if you have any automation techniques you would like to use to uninstall, you could use those. If it's not SCP cloud, Symantec's endpoint protection uh, cloud-based, uh, our product will generally uninstall it just when you convert over. Uh, there's a couple caveats to that, and we do have some instructions on how to get rid of those. However, uh, for this particular example, we're just going to remove it from the endpoint real quick and see where we go from there. And normally when you remove Symantec, you'll have to restart. It's unfortunate, but <laughs> it's what some people have to do. So after just a few seconds, you could see that we're the only agent there and you're still protected by our coexist agent at the moment. And then we go to the next step, which is just creating a policy to flip that agent over to a full-fledged EPP agent, as well as assigning any exclusions you may need for your environment. Maybe you have, you know, large files out there that you don't want scanned for whatever reason. <laughs> and this is where you would do it all. So creating a policy is real simple. You just add a new policy and you can specify targets. Um, we're doing that in this case since we only have one machine we want to target, but you can do all sorts of different criteria to target this policy across the environment without having to select each individual agent. So we went ahead and selected the one agent that we're working on here, and we just add that to the policy, which is as simple as browsing through or searching for the agent and then clicking add to selected targets and clicking OK, and that's it. And then we're just going to go over to the privilege and other settings and get it set up to convert over. So under the other settings tab, there's a handy little checkbox there that permanently converts that security agent over. And that's it for that part. And uh, then you can go ahead and if you need any exclusions, feel free to, to fill them in. Maybe you want to mimic your scan exclusions you have on your current endpoint product. And then we'll enable endpoint sensor. And this will allow us to start doing EDR investigations and getting that, that data up there so you could start scanning IOCs in your network for things that Symantec may not have found and take remediation action. This would also be a good time if you wanted to enable application control, a DLP, device control, vulnerability protection, all, all of the breadth of our suite. Uh, you could just do it right here, right before you deploy, and uh, it'll get to that endpoint once it kicks over. So once we get done there, we go back to the endpoint and we just uh, see what it looks like. So the policy is deployed and you could tell by the icon that it's changed over to a full agent. And uh, if you check, you could see that all of our other modules are now enabled, everything that was defined in that policy. So once you go to the component version, you'll be able to see exactly which policy it has right there that we just issued, which was called semantic replacement. And we're done. Those are the easy steps of uh, replacing other EPP products in your environment with the Trend Micro Apex One agent. Till next time, have a good one. Bye.